Howdy, boys and girls. Welcome to Kilted Culture. I am Rocky. That's Eric. Yo. Today, special treat for St. David's Day. We are rocking uh, the Pandaren Kelt Whiskey. Our good friend Peter Lyons gave this to us. So thank you, Peter. We are going to try this today. Um, so happy St. David's Day, everyone. Happy St. David's Day. Indeed, indeed. Is it Kumaru? I always forget. I want to say Kumaru up Alia, but that's not it. Because that's Anglo Saxon. Yeah, I have no idea. There's just I, no vowels. I do not know any Welsh. So it's very light. Very light. I was just thinking color. that it is yeah. really pale. Yeah. Mac, why don't you come collect? So mm -hmm. here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please don't run into it. Mm -hmm. There you go. And while you're well, back there, what do you think, what tartan you have on there, Mr. Mac? I got Stort Hunting Ancient Hunt. Very lovely, very mm -hmm. lovely. Very nice. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Eric, what do you have on there? I'm wearing the Owen Glendur black with red in honor of St. David's Day. Very nice, and very pretty. Owen Glendur, the Welsh William Wallace, if you will. Yes. And today I have on my brand spanking new um, Stuart Old Weathered. Uh, made by our own Casey. Um, the uh, This is the custom weave that we did just because I wanted it to exist. Um, so a few people got in on this. One piece left if anyone wants some. Um, all right. Gorgeous. So what do we got here for Pandaren? Well, it's whiskey. It is. Oddly enough, it, it, it does smell so, like whiskey. Apparently a single malt too. Mm. It smells reasonably light, but, but as a good... There's a little oak. Yeah. Or not oak. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. It's got a kind of a sweetish smell to me as well. A little bit sweet on the nose. Well, that might be... Sweet and light. Mild aromas of peat smoke. So very mild. That's what yeah, they're yeah. calling. And the early morning at the rocky seaside and with warm marmalade on toast. <laughs> Just like Grandma used to make me it. When in the morning. When you sat like, on the, sea, the seaside. The seaside, yes. Mm. All right. Matured in ex bourbon casks, finish of Scottish Isla casks, results a whiskey that blends light fruity notes with the subtle peaty influences. Okay. I I would agree mm. with essentially all of that. The uh, It's got a light smoke to it, not overpowering. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily get marmalade. Do you, Mac? No, I think it's but, just a sweetness. Yeah, a generic. Honestly, a that little bit of a sweetness. maybe it's leading the witness, but I did pick up a little bit of that, like very burnt toast and marmalade. How often do we eat marmalade? Was that on the nose that was supposed to have the burnt yes. toast and marmalade? Yep. Yeah. yeah. See, I was. I don't know. I'm not Paddington Bear, so. All right. On the taste, what's on the taste? Taste on the palate, whatever. It's palate called. begin begins with great sweetness before the smoky. Slightly medicinal flavors descend. I love how they rationalize <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Strictly medicinal. I don't get a lot of sweet in the taste up front. I'm swirling it around a little bit. I get some with the medicinal. It's not like an iodine slash band-aid kind of flavor like you get with uh, an Isla Scotch per se. <clears throat> that's got a little bit of that hmm. a little a little earthy a little um but and and a, 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 a touch more smoke not a ton but a touch more than like than the minor on a scale a smoky scale of you know zero to ten like a three oh my God. um i i agree though i think the smoke it doesn't come in smoke it, like the smoke like spikes hmm it's, it's yeah, getting like any pepperiness. Smoke through the forest. Um, well, I think it's very short. I'm, they're saying the fin the finish is is slight bitterness follows. It leaves a long lingering freshness in the mouth. I don't know about freshness now. <laughs> There's a slightly a slight bitterness, a little woodiness. Yeah, I get the I get the, the woodiness. End. That's kind mm -hmm. of what I'm picking up as the the freshness. If you think of like like a cologne, like some colognes or, or perfumes have like a wood smell to it or something like that for a fresh okay. crisp kind of thing so if that's the thing a little bit because i'm still it's still on the sides of my mouth i'm still tasting it hmm. um 
the uh, yeah, the peppery mist maybe like because we just opened it. So oh, yeah. maybe letting it sit for a little bit. Maybe As always. Some of it, like less tannins or whatever. Um, I'm going to pour there's it. There's a flaw with our technique, sir. Yeah. If I do say so. It's But it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Not mad at it. I would say if I wanted to introduce somebody to things that are PD, I would give them this before I give them something like Lagavulin. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Agreed. It's it's a it's a light. It's it's yeah. They're they're walking into the water, not jumping into the deep end. Exactly. Of the pool. Not the penguin off the island. It's it's the Coors Light <laughs> of PD scotches. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> I just want to hear your reaction. Oh. Okay. Now touch of water. Let's see what happens. Kind of killed the peatiness. Did almost nothing. Yeah, it killed it a little bit. Water. I still taste the little bit of. Uh, I got the, the peppery the tannins pepper. kind I of. Get thing. the peppery more yeah. and the peat less. At least for me. Yeah, I give it that. Killed the nose. It did. Yeah. Hmm. You poured water in Mac? Just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It really. Yeah. It died. It. It just. Yeah. Like, done. <laughs> Gone. Hmm. Gonesville, Daddyo. Hmm. I don't think that's ever happened before where uh -uh. the nose was so affected yeah. by a little bit of water. Can you remember ever? No. Hmm. I mean. Or at least we haven't said it. Not off the top of my head. No. Yeah. I still kind of like it though. Yeah. I think I prefer it neat to to with a, with them with a touch of water. I would agree. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, Mac, scale of one to ten. Uh, well, first, how do you, just curious, how do you feel about it? Have you drank it with the water already? Or just no? a little bit, yeah. Okay, did you prefer it with the with neat, I, with I, no water? Or yeah, I think with water? no water. I think it just, it like killed a lot of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I, Problem with so, it being so delicate. All right, so let's let's judge it based on no water, what we had in there yeah. before. Cast your mind back. Yeah. I, I, I kind of agree. I think this is definitely one that if you're trying out, it's a good one to go to. It, it, it's not bad. It's not great. It's mm -hmm. good. I Maybe 6.7. 6.7. Six okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. I would say this is more of a like a, a fall. It's not a full on. Winter I was thinking that too. Yeah, it has a, it has a nice fall. warming effect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, trying to imagine what I would pair it with, but nothing's coming to mind really. Um, a second one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the more you drink, the better I drink. Um, the more I drink, the funnier I am. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Probably like Mac. Probably like a six point eight, something like that. I like it enough that I would I would okay. serve it to guests. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go a little higher. I'm gonna go seven three. I I enjoy it. I wouldn't go out of my way to get it, but if I'm buying a you know a bunch of whiskey as a sampler thing for a party or I'm hosting a tasting or something, I'd include this for just to have something Welsh, just to have something a little bit different, and because it's a a, a lighter Isla vibe to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So okay, all right, cheers. Mm. So very good. Not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> Thank you again, Peter Lyons. Not bad at all. Like and this it. is this is the only Welsh distillery. Is that correct? No, I think there, there's, no, there's more than one. Welsh I didn't think. I, yeah, I didn't this is like the, I it's the, the first one. It's the first one. First yeah. commercially available whiskey produced in Wales since the 19th century. Okay. 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 So, all right. Very good. Thank you for watching our video, boys and girls. Remember, if you want to support our channel, we would love if you would go over to our real store. Go over to usakilts.com and check out all the Highland wear that we have to offer.